Hello everyone, this is Richard from Modern Health Span. I have recently had a blood test and this time I included my testosterone. My total testosterone was 26.7 nanomoles per liter, which is 770 nanograms per deciliter. I'm 62 years old and this is higher than the reference range for my age and is what would be expected for someone in their 30s. Why do I have a youthful testosterone level? Or is it in fact good as it is above the expected range? Here is what I found. First off, why did I get my testosterone measured? I do not have any symptoms that I'm aware of of either high or low testosterone, but it is important in both men and women. And since I think more data is better, I had it tested. Testosterone is part of a complex system, and I'm only going to touch on a couple of the core parts today. Some of these are bone mass, muscle mass and strength, fat distribution and sleep. I think that having sufficient bone and muscle function are key determinants of health span, and testosterone is an important part of the puzzle to maintain these with age. High testosterone is also associated with lower body fat and better sleep. According to Dr. Sinclair, though, having high testosterone is not directly linked to longer lifespan. A note on measuring testosterone. Testosterone is a steroid hormone. So as a fat does not travel well in the blood, around 70% of testosterone is strongly bound to SHBG or steroid hormone binding globulin. Here it is inactive. Another 20 to 30% is bound to albumin. This is a weaker bond, but the testosterone is still not active. Free testosterone, which is about one to 2% of the total is the active hormone. These percentages are normally quite consistent, so measuring total testosterone can give you a good idea of the free testosterone. Here are my scores from the test that I did in August 2023. My result is 26.7 nanomoles per liter, which is 770 nanograms per deciliter. They gave me a red number for this as it being out of range for someone of my age. Testosterone levels decline with age. This graph is in nanograms per deciliter, the units used in the US. During my investigations, I found that there is a lot of variability about what values should be in the reference range, especially with respect to different ages. My result was 770 nanograms per deciliter, which would put it here on the graph. A couple of points on the measurement. First, as testosterone declines with age, my number is out of range in my age group, but is within range for a younger person. For the longevity community, we want to return to a more youthful state by, for example, raising NAD levels and improving our VO2 max. So in the same way, having a youthful testosterone seems to me to be a good aim. Also, the sources I found said that testosterone would not be a potential problem until at least over 1,000 nanograms per deciliter, where at 770, I am still well within that limit. It is possible for total testosterone to be a good number, but for free testosterone to be low or high. At the moment, I'm assuming that my free T is in the normal 1% to 2% range of my total testosterone. What do I think are the main contributors to my youthful level of testosterone? So here are the main things that would help you raise your testosterone. Number one is exercise, and in particular resistance and HIIT, but not cardio. Some cardio seem to have no effect, and too much actually lowers testosterone levels. My current regimen is mostly resistance and HIIT. Resistance training two or three times a week multi-joint exercises such as deadlift and bench press with three sets of eight to 10 reps aiming to reach failure on the final set. Along with this, I do HIT, which is sprint interval training and four by fours. Number two is maintaining healthy body composition. The sources on the web said body weight, but I think this is a proxy for fat percent. My weight is about 64 kilograms and has been stable for three years. My BMI is 22.3, which is in the normal range. Number three is sufficient good quality sleep. I aim for seven or more hours a night and track this with an aura ring. It seems sleep is very important for testosterone and most of it is released during sleep, especially in REM sleep. In general, my aura ring reports that I have an hour or more of REM sleep at night. 
I also go to bed as much as possible at the same time every day around 9.30 and get up at the same time around 5.30. Number four is diet. I could not find much specific information on how diet helped with testosterone, though I did find some discussion that saturated fats, which are used to make cholesterol, helped as this is a precursor to the sex hormones and that polyunsaturated fatty acids actually lowered testosterone, which I thought was interesting. However, it does not drive my diet decisions, and I don't think that there is anything specific here. While talking about diet, a quick note on Brian Johnson. This comes from his Blueprint website. He is on CR of about 20% calorie reduction, and it is plant-based, which has reduced his testosterone levels. He is therefore using a testosterone patch to supplement them. This does at least show that diet affects the testosterone levels, and his target is in the same range that I am at. Number five is supplements. I don't take any supplements specifically for testosterone. Vitamin D may help. What I could find on the others, such as DHEA, which I do not take, said that they are generally not very effective. I have heard Dr. Sinclair say that NMN may raise testosterone. From what I can find, this seemed to be based on the logic that NMN raises NAD, and NAD is required to build testosterone, as it is an energy-expensive process. This does not seem like a strong argument to me, as NAD is required for so many processes in the body. For reference, I am taking one gram of NMN a day. And number six, it could be that my genes naturally produce more testosterone. However, according to my DNA report card, this should not be the case, as I do not have the genes which favor high levels of sex hormones. Number seven is having hormone therapy. I do not do this, and so will not comment further on it, though it certainly is a way that you can increase testosterone levels. So I think that my regular daily routine on exercise and sleep are the main contributors. This is the two areas I'm spending most of my focus on, especially as I'm now in my 60s. I hope that you found this helpful. If you have any routines that work for you, please share them in the comments. I shall report when I have my number in the next test. Thank you for your attention, and I wish you all well.